friends, and welcome, welcome, welcome to Video Break. Psalm 64, verse 7. I love it. He says, but God shoots his arrows at them. They are wounded suddenly. <laughs> well, it's kind of an interesting perspective because he's kept talking through those five verses about how evildoers, what they do in this world. But then all of a sudden he gets this, but God shoots his arrows at them and they are hit on suddenly whatever arrow that may be so they think that their plans are prospering remember you got to remember this when you're living in an unjust society and you play in the same things that they're playing such as anger or resentment back into the world it doesn't work let god do what god does let god be the one that shoots the arrow of vengeance back at people who do at, back at the evil of this world we are not to be participants of evil ever in this world what do i mean by that like overcoming rage or you know participating with acts of any sort of violence because somebody whatever somebody's done to you doesn't give you permission to do it back to them otherwise it's 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 creating more chaos and more heartache so God is asking us to walk into this world, not seeking vengeance, not seeking what's due you, but he's asking us to walk in this world with forgiveness. And that means we let the consequences of other people's actions on our lives go. Of course, there's, there's consequences to evildoers. Even in your own life, there's consequences that's happened because of something that maybe somebody has done to you. But friends, let God be the one that seeks the vengeance. You do your part and let it go. Otherwise, it's going to still own you. Otherwise, it's still going to keep you in, the, in their prison. So sometimes some of us might have a lot of work to do. Some of us might have to really deep, dig deep to let vengeance be God's job. Because we're so angry, we're so boiled up because of the way the world's running right now. And so every word that we say is one of vengeance and anger and stupid people and stupid things. I've even heard Christian people say this, the stupid people. <laughs> you know, and I'm sitting there thinking, really? I'm not real sure that that's your place to call anyone a stupid person. You know, let, and that's in, in scripture that, you know, Jesus talks about, that's, that's like murder being you know letting your words be one of bringing down somebody else's reputation is 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 like murder and so let's be let's be the people god's called us to be and let's let god do what god does god's going to be the one that's going to bring vengeance not us you my friend set yourself free from it set yourself free let others the consequences of what others have done to you, let it be back. Let it go back. Have a blessed day.